Hi everybody, welcome to the Mindset Elevator. Thank you for stopping on this video and thank you all so much for the ongoing support of this channel. You guys are helping it grow and I really am very thankful for that. So once again, thank you for your presence and let's get started with this video, okay? You may have a lot of people upset with you because you are non-compliant. People may be feeling like you are difficult because you do not listen to what they tell you to do or because you have your own mindset and you make your own choices that maybe differ from what everybody else expected you to do or expected you to make or people just kind of feel like you're being difficult because you're not, you know, just once again, like just going with the majority, going with what everybody else wants you to go with. I know how that might feel because listen, I'm the type of person, right? Where it's like, if I don't want to do something, I am probably not going to do it, right? I'm not going to just do it for the sake of everybody else. It literally has to align with what I am comfortable with. If I'm not comfortable, there's a problem, right? Whereas in the past, I wasn't really like that. I would kind of just do it to appease other people. But now, you know, in my life, I'm more into the mindset of, you know, I want to be able to make the choice I want to make. I want to be able to do what I want to do. And I've been called difficult because of it. People have treated me like it is cumbersome to deal with me. People have treated me like I'm making things harder than they need to be. And all I'm doing is assuring that whatever it is I am getting myself into, I know and I am making that conscious choice to do so. It is not because you or you are telling me to do it. It's because I want to do it. I make that choice for myself. But unfortunately, like, you know, some people are going to be upset with you that they cannot control you. Some people are going to be upset with you because they cannot put a harness on you. They cannot put you in that spot that they want to put you in like they've maybe been able to do with everybody else. So you may be called difficult because you do not just jump without looking. You know, you you look before you leap. Right. And a lot of people in this world do not. They leap and then they look around or if they even have time to look by that point. Right. They leap without even realizing what they're leaping, what they're jumping into, right? So when you're not like this, you're going to be met with backlash and people are going to be upset, like up in arms. Like, why are you making things so difficult? Why are you making things so cumbersome? Why are you acting like that? Why are you making things harder than they need to be? Oh yeah, I've definitely been treated like that type of person. Like people making it seem like, Andrea, you know, like, why can't you just do it? You know, just do it. Just come, just do it, Right. Just say it. Just be that person that we need you to be. No, I want to be the person that I want to be. Don't tell me how to be, right? Don't tell me, you know, what you think I should do. I have to have a hand in that, right? You know, you can't be, you're not holier than thou. You can't tell me, you know, what you think I should do and then think I'm going to be like a yes woman. No, because I got to make my own type of choice. It has to align with what I want to do. So absolutely leave in the comments and let me know if you feel like, because you do not go the way of the herd or because you make your own conscious choice or maybe because you look before you leave. You feel like people around you who were expecting you to do what they said or if they told you not to do something, you know, like don't do that. And you did do it because it aligned with your spirit to do it, that you kind of felt like people were mad and upset and made it feel like, made it seem like you were being difficult, made it seem like you were trying to complicate things. Let it be known in the comments. Leave your stories. I always, always love to read your insight, get your insight, get your, you know, stories about what has been happening as it re uh, relates to the videos, okay? So here's how I deal with this situation. When people treat me like I'm a problem, when people treat me like I'm a difficult person to deal with, well, then I pretty much remove myself from the situation and I, I just, I block them out. Right, Because here's the thing, once again, if it does not align with what I want to do, I'm not going to do it. And even if, even if there's a bit of compromise, you know, like on my end, you're not going to get the, the same type of Andrea that you think. You know what I mean? Like it's people thinking that you're going to be this way, perform this way, talk this way, act this way, you know, be their personal punching bag or like you're going to just comply without even using your own mind. No. So it's like, even when I do compromise, you know, there's still going to be a part of me well intact that you're never going to be able to, to control. You're never going to be able to dominate, you know? And so that's the thing as well. Like when people think, oh, they got you in that position, they think that you're going to be exactly how they want you to be. And it's like, nah, you know, I may come, I may, you know, show up, I may, you know, support, but here are, you know, here are what's going to, this, this is what's going to be happening here. All right. And you let people know, right? So 
I, I just start blocking it out when people start making it seem like I'm being difficult or whatever. I also reassure myself at the same time too, that what I am doing is aligning with what I want to do. It's not about them. It's about me. What do I want to do? Does it make me uncomfortable? Does it make me upset? All right. Because if they're trying to do something and trying to involve me in something that makes me upset, why would I want to be upset? Why would I want to be uncomfortable? So you got to take stock of what is it that people are trying to put you into. You got to reassure yourself that you're making the best choice for yourself. You're not trying to make the choice for them or appease them. Appeasing them is like the very last thing you should do. Of course, there's situations where you may have to compromise. You may have to be, um, you may have to sacrifice. It could be very specific situations where, you know, you got to be involved. You got to assist. You got to be there, right? But across the board, you should be able to reassure yourself that, listen, I'm doing the best for me. I see people are upset. I see people are up in arms. I see people don't like what I said but this is the best thing for me. I do not want stress. I do not want strife. I do not want drama. I do not want negativity. And if what they're trying to get me to do is that, then you got to remember that you don't want that. And so you move accordingly to that. All right, everybody. So don't back down. If something makes you uncomfortable, do not back down. And also let it be known in the comments if people have tried to get you to do things that you just don't want to do. Perhaps people have tried to put you in a compromising situation where they know like it did not align, you were not that type of person, but still yet they tried to get you into this situation where you had to do their bidding, you had to be involved. I'd love to hear those stories as well if you guys all would like to share, all right? So people could definitely be feeling like you are a difficult person to deal with, that you are just, you know, you are a trying person. You're very difficult, you complicate things, all right? They may say this to you, they may treat you like, ah, oh, exasperated, they're sick of it, they're sick of you, all right? But make sure that you're taking care of yourself and always taking stock of what you love, what you don't love, what you, you know, what you want to do, what you don't want to do, and don't let anybody change that for you, all right? It's one thing for people to take you out of your comfort zone, right? Where they know you're not cool with something versus you taking yourself out of your own comfort zone because you want to experience life because you made that conscious choice. It's a big difference. When people are trying to compromise your comfort zone, they know that you're steady. They know that you're zenned out. They know that you're good where you're at. And they're trying to get you to like do things that you would never really want to do trying to get you to go the way of the herd, trying to get you to pretty much break your own morals down, break your own standards down. That's a different type of thing. And you got to think about whether or not that's really what you want to be a part of. Okay, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. I hope you guys liked it. All right, everybody. I've been getting a lot of emails pertaining to uh, coaching. I will definitely be um, implementing uh, some coaching um, later down the line. I'm still working on some systems here and uh, scheduling and, you know, integrations and things like that to get that popping. So that is going to be uh, a thing in the near future, okay? So thank you for all who emailed me about it and showing your interest about the coaching. But I want to make sure when I do come out with it, it's good for everybody who will be interested. All right? I don't want to just jump out with something just to jump out. It has to be real. It has to be good. And so that's what I'm waiting on as well. And as well, for those who have asked about my merch, once again, <laughs> I'm still building uh, my merch lineup once again to make sure that it's good for the majority of those who are who are interested, not to just drop a bunch of stuff just for the sake of dropping stuff. That's just not how I want to move. All right, everybody. So thank you so much for showing interest in the coaching and in the merch. It is coming. And when it does launch, I will let you know. All right, right here on the Mindset Elevator. I love you guys so much. Stay up. Keep doing what you guys do. Keep smiling. I'll, you know, there's so many reasons to smile. Don't let nobody take the smile off your face. All right, everybody, stay up and do what you guys do. Mm -hmm.